Ladies and gentlemen, if you need to upload a website to HostGator, I'm going to show you exactly how to go about it. It's quite quick. It's very easy. So let's jump into it. So if we want to upload a website, we'll need to access our cPanel. Now to access our cPanel, we can either go from hosting over here and click on the cPanel link. Secondary, we can go to websites on the left hand side and you can find your website. Click on settings. You go over to the right hand side. You will see advanced. Once you're in advanced, you'll be able to access your cPanel. Essentially, this is where you will end up. And here you want to just scroll down slightly and look for file manager. Now, this file manager will allow you to upload the website that you would like. So let's go to public HTML. We're going to double click on that and we are going to open up this file. So once we're in here, this is where we are going to upload our website so what we'll need to do is right at the top on our ribbon we're going to go and click on upload and we will be redirected to this page now there's a few things that you need to understand first of all there is a file upload limit we can also now just click and drag files here we can use the select file to browse our device and then if we are importing files that already exist on our host gator server we can go ahead and just overwrite these files so let's go ahead and upload our website all right i have just uploaded my website you can see here it is complete once it is complete you can go ahead and click on this go back to and it'll take you back to your previous page and now we have to go and look for our file so this is a zip file generally it would be a zipped file and we need to now extract that file so now we have selected it and we are going up to the top we're going to say extract this will just show you where it is going to be extracted to so we're going to keep it here let's say extract files and this is a report of the results it's been done let's click on close and it has now been done your website should be updated the next time you log in